Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Roxy and today we're gonna see an awesome Nuts game. So if you're here because of Bitcoin, if you're here because you heard my name and you typed it on Google or YouTube and you ended up here, you are on the wrong channel. Uh, you need to go to my main channel which is gonna be either The Bitcoin Rabbit Hole or Discovery Bitcoin or Découvre Bitcoin. In the meanwhile, while you're here, I'd like to make a tutorial for awesome Nuts. So basically, this is my old channel where I used to post video, montage, tutorial, and best skill about a video game that I've got passionate about and I've played mostly 4,000, 5,000 hours. So a lot of you have probably played League a lot or Dota a lot or Minecraft a lot. Well, my game was awesome Nuts, the game you see behind. And uh, well, since you're here and because I like that game, I'm going to offer you a small tutorial. So it's going to be one game and I'm going to try to play it through, explain to you the mechanics of the game, how it works, tell you a little bit of background about the game and encourage you to play. It's a free to play game. It's fine on Steam. Uh, it's pretty old to be fair, uh, but it still has some uh, active community. You can still pick up the game. It's still really fun. I mean, I've played 5,000 hours of that and I spent a lot of hours uh, on that YouTube channel. So. Uh, I will definitely recommend Awesome Notes every single day. But uh, here you go. So I'm Roxy. If you want to know about the Bitcoin, check out the link below or click somewhere where you can click and uh, visit the main channel where I will teach you all the good stuff about Bitcoin. If you're here for the video game, then awesome, stick by. We're going to see everything about Awesome Notes. Let's go. Hello, it's awesome that you've decided to learn about awesomeness. I'm going to try to do a whole roundabout of the game and we're going to start straight up with a bot game uh, simply because I've tried to record some uh, full tutorial in one shot on a competitive game. It was just way too hard. Everything is moving too fast. I need to be focused on three different things. Uh, it gets hard. Uh, it, it's just not convenient for a tutorial. So instead, we're gonna go for a bot mode. But don't worry, usually you're always gonna be playing a game with other live players. It's a 3v3, it's a MOBA game, platform type. Let's see. Uh, this is the character you can pick from. So at the beginning, it was only like four or five characters uh, when they did the cross funding back in eight years ago. Now there's a lot of different awesome nuts. I personally am known and I play uh, Scoop, which is really famous. Uh, it's, a, it's a big favorite from a lot of fan. I also play a lot of Penny uh, because why would you not play Penny? And uh, I play a lot of uh, yeah, Clunk. Clunk is probably the thing I play the most. For this game, I'm gonna be playing. Uh, I'm gonna be playing Froggy because it can move. It's easy. It's something that everyone has at the beginning. It's more convenient, and uh, you understand like the attack uh, faster. So basically, it's a three v three. We're gonna jump. If you've played any MOBA before, so if you've played Awesome, uh, if you've played League of Legends, if you've played Dota, it's the same type of game. Three players fighting in an arena to gain a uh, field, destroying turrets, destroying creeps, going through the jungle in order to gain an advantage over the other team. Try to wipe it or kill it, and then push to the main core. So we are straight up into the game. We're gonna drop, and what you see right now is a uh, solo, so it's like the local currency that you're gonna use to buy shit. I have two buddies with me, it's gonna be Lonistar, he's a ranger from space, and Leon, le caméléon, which is a French uh, espion. I can buy some shit, and I'm gonna be buying person. No, I'm gonna be buying mutant one. Basically, I have two abilities. So the first one is simply gonna be my dash, right click, and I dash. The second one is my E, or can, you can put any key, and it's gonna be a tornado. And basically, what I bought is that after I dash someone, I can have an extra shot on my AA, which is my little uh, bubble pistol. I'm a froggy, I'm an assassin, so I'm gonna be moving fast and uh, try to kill shit. So here you go, for example, hop, the worm, and then tornado to finish the kill. Here we go, it's, it's first kill. Uh, also, I need to say that I have 5,000 hours, so I've played that game uh, extensively. So when you're low, you have two means to get back health. The first one is to grab those little thingy here. So up, oh, I have more 500. The second one is to grab those before Leon take them from me. The third is gonna have to have some like regen type of ability. Those are the creeps. It's what give you uh, solar. It's what's gonna help you uh, push turrets and get more uh, solar. I'm gonna die. 
let's die so I can show you um, how it's working. So I died, I'm gonna spawn back at the base. At the top of the screen, you can see the scores. So it's been two minutes we've been playing and the level are one, two. Uh, this basically mean that um, it just means the level and it scales up. So damage scales up, uh, HP scales up, etc. So I can buy other shit. What I'm gonna buy now is a pursing. So that's gonna allow, allow me to have my AA shoot multiple people at the same time. This is a double. If I go into this trap, I'm gonna be fucked. So at the same time, a platform game because you, you, you need to move a lot into platform. And at the same time, it's like a MOBA. So you need to know the ability of everyone, etc. So see here, my AA is to, taking two person at once. Now you can see also that I have a special, a special shot and it'll allow me to do more damage so I can heal. Something else I haven't talked about is so on the, that's the main thing. I'm guessing, uh, I think you got it. So basically that the enemy turret I'm supposed to push. So I'm supposed to make damage to her. I'm gonna kill that creep. So we have more push power, etc. And then there is a jungle. The jungle is gonna be that solo boss. So he's gonna throw some acid and if he hits me, it's bad for my health. I'm gonna be dying. Uh, when I kill him, so if I can kill him, uh, then it's gonna give some extra solo. Here we go. So I got 20 solo for the team and the solo can be found at the bottom right. Ah, oh, he stole my kill. Uh, that's basically the game. When you get the bases, then you can really like start uh, experiencing it. There's a couple of advice I should give if you're gonna start that game. First of all, you need to know that the queue time is gonna be long, simply because this game has, uh, has a pretty low uh, user base. The importance of that game is always to keep moving. Uh, the more you move, the better odds you have at uh, winning that game. Uh, like every MOBA, the whole dream, the whole game is about... All right, so there's a lot of abilities and you basically need to create a build adapted to the situation. Uh, that's gonna come way after. You're gonna have to play a lot of game to get the feel. You should probably focus on one character at the beginning and when you, have feel, when you feel confident with one character, you can move on to others, right? Uh, I've been playing Froggy in that game for so long that I know all of them, but basically what I'm gonna do now is because we have that little guy here that can uh, send like massive rocket, I'm gonna buy an upgrade that I really like because I find it funny, which is uh, right back at you. So reflect most enemy projectile during the first one second of a tornado. The tornado is my ability, um, so I can simply uh, use it. I bought some other shit, I'm just gonna exit the game after and move to a real game. I want to just give you the bases. So on the buff section, we have uh, slow, we have uh, silence, we have stun, uh, et cetera, et cetera. They're all different ability. You can come to them. You need to build uh, and play accordingly to that. All right, so for example here, the double is out of uh, his uh, territory. So basically he decided to go there while he shouldn't have. So I'm waiting for him to get into turret mode. And my body should have him. Yeah, they got him. So I, I, I didn't manage to do what I wanted, but you get the idea. All right, so you got the basis, you got the main idea. I'm not gonna jump into a game. It's gonna be a real life game. The issue is I am uh, decent at that game. I'm pretty good. So I'm at the top of the players. I've been playing for some times. So I've done some competitive. So obviously I know uh, what I'm doing. This means that I'm gonna be queuing up with good players. Uh, so I'm not gonna talk that much. I'm gonna cut the next game and really show you the important part when I keep talking. While we wait, I want to talk a bit about the game itself. So obviously the queue time. The queue time is pretty long for a game. And I know that if you play like uh, all those new games that come out, and I'm not only talking about Fortnite, but all of them, you are used to an instant queue. Queue. You are used to jumping into game, exiting, it's fast, there's no lag. That is not gonna be awesome, that's clearly. That game is old, that game has a low player base of people that really know what they're doing. 
Therefore, uh, queue time is going to take between zero, or like a minute, up to like five minutes, depending of when you play and um, where do you live. Uh, for me, it's fine, honestly. I just do some push up or I, I work on some other shit while uh, I wait for the queue. Uh, but, but that's the main idea. You can collect some points, you're doing like the daily challenge to unlock some new nuts. Uh, the idea is that you have some skin you can buy, you have some dropout uh, and uh, some announcer. I've never really done it because uh, since I have the game, since it's, uh, I had to buy the copy like 10 years ago, uh, I never really used all of new, those new features, but I know they exist. You also have some brawl, which is like kind of a good, funny type of game where it's the role is changing, the atmosphere is changing, etc, etc. In custom, you can play some uh, mob created by the community. So you have some awesome, awesome parkours, etc. I've done some video on my uh, awesome Nuts YouTube channel about that if you want to check it out. Same for the montage. Basically, here, then you have your profile. So those are my icons. That means I have won 250 games with those characters, uh, etc, etc. So my main are uh, Clunk nowadays, but it used to be Scoop, Frog and Swig. Uh, and I don't have a dog because running more uh, are mean to me. Uh, anyway, uh, those are like some stuff you can buy. So let's say you want to buy, uh, well, they all suck. I have a good one, but I just like that one. Uh, and that's the little board. So um, it's a new list week season and I didn't really focus. So I'm only 600. I'm usually way higher, uh, but I don't mind. I, I, I don't really um, care anymore about ranking. Uh, I used to, but not anymore. Uh, Rock is really nice, Cold is really nice, Jumbo is my friend. It's like the top uh, players. I, I usually play with them. I literally just recorded the last game with uh, EJ Beast and Honey. Damn, man, I crushed them. I hope you didn't cause them too much rank. Um, for that game, I'm going to put some music on because I like playing with music, but I'm going to try to uh, comment whenever there's something useful, cut it in the montage and give you the best joy I can uh, within the time I'm allowed to use uh, in my head, of course, because, well, Bitcoin is my new project, like, like you know, so that tutorial is going to be short and condensed. All right, uh, I have to select the character. I'm not going to be floggy uh, just because I haven't played him in ages. Uh, I'm going to go for good old clunk. Probably my best bet to win and I think it's more fun. And we are set for a game. Hopefully you enjoy it and hopefully I don't suck terribly at that one. Uh, we're gonna straight up uh, starting by selecting the solo. You know the deal. I'm Clunk. Clunk is a tank. So I'm no longer an assassin. I'm a tank. Uh, I have two ability. Explode, which is gonna be like boo. And I have a bite and I have some rocket I'm gonna throw. I'm with the two that you already know and I'm versus uh, a journalist robot that has a laser beam and a slow mode. I have uh, an engineer that has some dinosaur and I have Genji, uh, which is a uh, fucking amazing. It's Tarsan. He's one of the best in the world. I will have to focus a lot because he's going to wreck me and he's going to destroy my fucking ass. Here we go. First kill. Boom. That's how you get it. That's how you get it done, boys. See, that's his gri gri gripe, and that's the dino I talked uh, about. And they're gonna come back. Here we go. So he's pushing the turret pretty hard immediately. What I'm really afraid of here is uh, her, but I missed it. So I, I checked the minimap at the bottom to know that she was gonna take the teleport and I haven't talked of the map. So, haha, <laughs> my bad. Yeah, let's get back, boy. There's a creep here, that's the jungle. And there's some HP here, so that should pop exactly, you know. I, I got my timing, so I, I do know perfectly when they're gonna pop. Um, that's what I'm saying, it's like kind of... Uh... Alright, I'm not staying here any longer. Uh, like I said, it's going to be an intense game simply because of the Genji, uh, which is Tarsen. He's, he's a good player, so uh, I do want to focus quite a lot. Oh, I missed that. So he's doing like a technique, which is basically using his AA at the bottom of the map. So that's the jungle. 
And because he takes the teleport, it's going all the way to the top. I'm taking some uh, tur turret damage. And that is uh, the bottom. I could have, uh, <laughs> I could have avoided that. Uh, it was my mistake. Uh, I, I, I was too greedy. I, I saw he was gonna escape. He didn't. We both ended up dying at the bottom. So the bottom of that map is Starstorm. Uh, it's not the map's favorite, but they're not gonna change it anyway. Uh, it is uh, tricky. So really be careful what you're at the bottom. I'm gonna buy, buy double bites. That means that every time I bite, I'm gonna have some life steal. This is going to be super convenient to survive versus the Genji because uh, she's going to do a lot of damage pretty quickly. She's going to try to cocoon. Yeah, see? That, that was pretty... Uh, that was pretty obvious. Good, good town. The AA is gonna pass, you're gonna see. The AA is gonna feel what? Oh no, he didn't. But almost. It was a pretty cool call. I'm really need to take those damage turret because uh, no one is pushing in my team. And uh, that's never good. So always try to, to, to get a maximum of push at the beginning. Uh, to avoid uh, just getting snowballed, you know, it's, it's annoying when they, you just push too much. All right, we get some push out. Come with me, Lone. So that's awesome. Like, they didn't pay attention. We got. Ah, that, that was a wasted um, explode. I'm not gonna go at the bottom when I know this Genji. She's simply gonna always put me down. Uh, it is not in my interest. What I want is keep up the push, keep up the, like, we, we have the, the, the field, that's good. We're doing like a good job on that. We need to keep the pressure. Oh, damn, my loan. Yeah, I'm not gonna go there. I'm just gonna back. Genji is really going for those um, cocoon thing. So basically, when she's gonna cocoon, she bought here we go. She bought life steal. So she's taking away our life. And so if we get cocoon twice, we have way less HP. So it's really gonna be quickly deadly. Uh, you don't want that. Yeah, that's a double. Come on, come on. Come on, triple! Come on! All right, he died. Let's push. Like so, he, he they body blocked me, so I couldn't exit. Uh, but we had more push power, uh, attack power, so we got like a double, of course, to the third. And now it's like um, a two v one because there's only Genji. We're all dropping, so they can do some uh, pretty good push if uh, if they get the chance. I, I think they do. So it's gonna be one or two turrets. Every time you destroy a turret, you get a super droid. Was gonna was gonna was gonna show up, and uh, you definitely want to use those at your advantage. Yeah, too much damage for them. Yeah, it's bad. Oh my god, they're actually chasing. Oh my god, they're fucking chasing. That lag, then they got fucked. Now back, back, you're gonna die. You're dead. That is terrible. Uh, it's really bad. We just got wiped. Uh, when we get wiped, it's uh, it's really not good because uh, they're gonna rush the turret. That means like they are rushing the first one, and uh, they should have rushed the second. They didn't. I don't know why, but uh, that's that's better for us, I guess. I'm gonna go full damage simply because I think I can try to one shot some of them. Uh, the Genji is really gonna be my nemesis on that game, as I've said a million times so far. Yeah, I knew that, I didn't explode. Survive the dino. I want the HP. Uh, 
I want more HP. Uh, if Deepush the Super Druid at the top, it's what you just saw. So, well, we had a, a good start. They now have it. Oh my god, that was... Oh my god, and she got away from that? Damn it. Yeah, I, I don't know how she got away from that. She has so fucking much regen. I hate playing this is good Genji. It's just, if you don't have a full team to back you up, you are definitely just gonna die. No, I missed bite. No, I need to back. Uh, no. No, 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 it's mine, it's mine. You don't have HP, back up! You don't have regen and you don't have HP. What are you doing on the field? And why are you doing that? My team is destroying the game. Yeah, she's gonna cocoon. And then slow. Uh, I think we're gonna lose that, guys, simply because uh, the Genji is just too much. <laughs> Honestly, I cannot deal with that Genji with my current team. Uh, we will need to like coordinate, and she's just like rolling over us. Star Sun is a really good player, um, and I don't have the team to back me up. It's not against them. Um, maybe I'm just doing like a, I'm a John. Uh, I'm just trying to find excuses, but. To be fair, I don't really see how when Lone is going from the back. Stop. Stop. All right, stick with me, guys. Stick with me. Don't go to places that you shouldn't be. Oh my god, she got speed up. And we got fucked. Here we go, wipe. So that's game. Uh, that's over. That, that's... Uh, that's what we got. We got a shitty game. Well, I'm trying to uh, show you how it plays. We got stomped. It's 10 minutes. Usually it lasts more like 15 to 20. Uh, but there's absolutely nothing uh, we can do here against uh, Starson. She's just, he's too, just too good. Pretty annoying that we had a shitty game because uh, I don't want to record a million. I actually need to work. But well. Anyway, that's live, it happens, some games are great, some games are terrible. Uh, if you want to uh, check a game where I talk about Bitcoin uh, and I explain to the community and the people that follow me uh, why I'm creating, creating this new project about Discover Bitcoin, uh, then check that game. I actually crushed them, so in the other game, I'm the Genji. Uh, it just really depends on the matchmaking, to be fair. Anyway, I'm going to stop awesome that's here because I need to go back to work. I'm sorry this video is not uh, as perfect as I wished it would be. Uh, I simply cannot uh, afford to do that, uh, and I think you understand why. Anyway, I'm Roxy, see you around, take care, bye bye. The year 3587. Conflict spans the stars. Huge armies are locked into an enduring stalemate.